the last event, Ecto claimed gold in the quadrilla race, and we head to balancing now, an event in which Ecto won in last season. We've seen the setup of balancing in the Team Quadrilla Marble League B division, so let's see how these marbles fare. Candycorn, Goop, and Java stayed atop three in the standings, Ecto rose up five spots into fourth, then it's Seabed, Gloom, Denim, and Blue Tail in eighth, who continues to plummet after their gold in the first event. But going in reverse championship order, it will be Blizzard starting soft. The record is 15 set by Ecto in Season 1, but this course being extended makes it a bit easy to reach that. Blizzard is going to get a 4 on their first go. It's about the number of the row of blocks that you fall off on, and Blizzard looks like they're going to get 9 or the 8 or 9 that they fell off on in run number 2. So the total will be 13. Yes, it was 9. So 4 plus 9, that is 13, just 2 off the record. But there's obviously much room for improvement, and Sapphire will attempt to better that. Sapphire came from the Aquamarines team in the Team Cortilla Marble League, who won balancing, and Sapphire is going to get a 7 or an 8 in run number 1. They don't need much to catch up to Blizzard, but only a 4 in run number 2, and it looks like they will not be doing as good as Blizzard. Here we can see their first run. They're falling off in the 8, I think that was, or that was 7 actually. So it's only going to be 11 in total. Worse than Blizzard and unable to replicate their team Cordilla Marble League success. Casper now, marble number 3. A bit ahead of Sapphire and Blizzard in the standings, they're going to want to make a move and get at least into the mid pack but their first run is going to be a 12 they fell off on the three block wide row which is worth 12 but their second run once again only a four these marbles after a good first run pressure seems to be getting to them they're unable to continue that success into run two but still though 12 and 4 that is 16 in total and the record provisionally so casper is first out of three marbles. Void now, fourth marble out of 16, and the host of this season, how will they do on the balance beam? Pretty good in run number one. It looks like that was an eight. And what about their next run? It's going to be a 15. They fall off on the two block wide row, and that is worth 15. So Void easily resets the record. 23 in total well ahead of Casper, Blizzard, and Sapphire. F things may finally be looking up for the host, who had little to no success at all. They had their best finish of the entire season in the last event, with a fifth in the quadrilla race. But now we go to Shamrock, third place in season one overall. Also, no medals to their name here. Shamrock, though, will get a nine on run number one. What can they do in run number two? Very straight. And they're going to get 20 full points in run two. Look at this. this. As straight as it gets. Nearly falling off. But they just had the willpower to keep going. And there's a full 20. So 29 Shamrock sets the mark to beat. Very good from Shamrock. They didn't even make the podium in balancing in season one. But here they are, seemingly the mark to beat in this entire event. Mountain, though, will get a 15 in their first run. So only a 14 needed to tie Shamrock, but they're not going to do it. Mountain will only get 8, or was it 9? It seems like it was 8 or something. We're only looking at run number 1 here. So, Mountain will be tied for second with Void with a 23. Just barely didn't get 9, otherwise they would be in second without a tie. But now Tarzan, marble 7 out of 16. Tarzan, 4th overall in Season 1, but only one medal to their name it was the last event, and they are going to get a 15 in the first run. Tarzan, 2nd run, a 12, which means that that will be good enough for 2nd place thus far. Tarzan finally 
getting some success. They got a bronze in the Cordilla race, but before that, it took a while for them to gain some ground. But 27 is a pretty good total, just two off the record for, set by Shamrock. Wave Runner now. To close out the first half of Marbles, they got sixth in the last event, sixth two events ago. Wave Runner now. Will get a 15 or a 12. That is hard to tell. Now in their second run, how will they do? They're going to get a 12, but they're going to roll back. And doesn't matter. They did reach the 12 zone, so they will get 12 points for run 2. Now we're going to take a look at run 1 to see what exactly was the score there. Oh, and it looks like they're just barely not going to get a 15. So that's going to be two 12s and just a 24. Otherwise, they would have tar tied Tarzan for second place. But now they only sit in third. Shamrock, after the first half of runs, easily in the lead. But just barely behind them is Tarzan, actually. Then it's Wave Runner. Blue Tail now. Marble 9. Only a gold in the first event. And no other success. Disappointing. For the runner-up of the individual league. But they're going to get a 15 on run 1. They need another 15 to get the lead. Will they do it? No, they will not. Only an 8. And I think that puts them in a 3-way tie with Void and Mountain. Look at this. They were on par for a 20 but just veered off to the right right at the end. Really goes to show that it is hard to stay on that beam when it goes narrow. Denim now. They got a silver in the last event. Their first medal ever. They didn't get any medals in season one. They have one medal in season two thus far. And they're just barely going to not reach the narrow part of the beam. That's going to be nine points for run one. They need a 20 to tie Shamrock and they're not going to get it. Was that another nine on run two? It was either a nine or an eight. But either way, that this is only going to be mid-pack at best. Like Wave Runner rolling back on the beam. You don't really get points for style, but oh well. Denim will get 17 in total, and that's only good enough for 7th out of 10. They're just behind that 3-way tie that makes up the mid-pack. Gloom now. Marble 11. Gloom coming from the Shadow Riders team, who got 2nd in balancing in Team Cordula Marble League, but they're only going to get a 4 on the first run. Their second run... Much better, and that's going to be a 12. Gloom will get 16, and that ties them with Casper. Of course, all of these ties will have to be broken with tiebreakers after all 16 marbles go. But Gloom, what could have been that second run, you can see that they have potential on the balance. But that first run really drags them down. Seabed now. Marble 12 to make up the third quarter of runs at seabed reaches the 12 or 15 range that is very tough to tell they're gonna need a good total here if they want to challenge shamrock they're gonna get an easy 15 there no contest and if the first one was 15 they're actually gonna take the lead but was it we're gonna see a replay here and it looks like it was you can see the rolling perpendicular to the beam that tells you that they fell off on the 15 zone and that is a new record 15 and 15 30 and seabed is at the top of the standings thus far four runs to go and seabed didn't even need a full 20 to take the lead ecto now after witnessing was potentially a gold medal run the defending gold medalist in balancing. They will only get a 12 in the first run. They need a 20 to overtake Seabed. Will they do it? They will not. They just stall out just barely behind the 15 row. And that's only going to be another 12. Which ties them with Wave Runner. But Ecto will not be repeating their success in balancing. I don't even think they're eligible for the podium at this point. After winning gold in the last event, Ecto will settle for a mid-pack finish in balancing. Java now hasn't placed out of the bottom five, out of the top five, sorry, since event one. How will he fare in the balance beam? 
they fall off at 9 needs to get uh, even if they get 20 they cannot challenge for the gold they're certainly going to try it though and they will get a 15 and that will be a 24 in total that ties them in points with Ecto and Wave Runner, but since they have a 15 they will be ahead of them but where does it put them overall it is fourth out of 14 marbles so that top five streak may very well continue for java goop now early success in this league with a bronze and a gold a bit of a decline after that but still good enough to be second in the standings and they're gonna get a 15 here means a 15 to tie seabit a 20 to overtake them but they're not going to reach it goop will only get a seven i think that was and here's their 15 run looking close to the 20 you could see that they were recorrecting their direction but they were too much to the left and they will only get a 22 overall but now the championship leader candy corn they have three medals and an opportunity to get a fourth one will they be able to do it good speed down the beam but only a 12 but a 20 can get them another gold medal will they do it they're up to a 15 and that's going to be good enough for the bronze candy corn did they do good enough to get another medal and actually going to tie them with tarzan for third place so they're going to have to do a tiebreaker to settle for the bronze but candy corn is now guaranteed a lowest position of fourth in this event but now we have a whole bunch of tiebreakers to do casper and gloom for 13th place casper will get just one run and they set a good mark of 15 points will gloom be able to meet that they need a 20 to secure the 13th a 15 to go to another tiebreaker but will they do it they will not as gloom only gets five so Gloom will settle for 14th, their first bottom four finish, and Casper will get 13th. Void now, in a three-way tie for 8th. What will they set in this tiebreaker? Very straight on the beam, and they're going to set a 12-point mark in the tiebreaker. So now Mountain and Blue Tail will be chasing this. Mountain led their team to silver in the B division of Team Cordilla Marble League Balancing, but will only get a six here and they will not be placing top half. But now Blue Tail, if they get a 15 or a 20, they will overtake Void for eighth. No chance to get a medal here, but still a chance to get top half, but they're not gonna do it. Only an eight and they will settle for ninth. Void will get 10th and Void will get eighth actually. And Mountain will get 10th. But now a tiebreaker for 6th. Ecto and Wave Runner. With the ladder up first. Wave Runner good speed. And they will get 15 just barely. Ecto needs to get 15 to tie. And go to another tiebreaker round. Or needs to get a full 20 to secure the 6th place. Do they have their success from Season 1 in them? It's not going to be good enough because they only get 12 points. And Ecto can only settle for 7th. But now the most important tiebreaker of them all. For 3rd place and the bronze medal. Tarzan. Can they restrict Candy Corn to another medal? They're only going to get a 9 here. But they that may as well be good enough for the bronze. Candy Corn needs to reach the narrow part of the beam to secure a medal. Will they be able to do it? Candy Corn will only get a three. So Candy Corn gets fourth place. Tarzan gets the bronze. And Candy Corn will not be getting a whole bunch of points here. But Seabed stands atop the podium in balancing. They led their team to fourth place in Team Cordilla Marble League balancing in season one. But they will stand on the top step of the podium shamrock gets their first medal of these games getting the silver and tarzan gets back-to-back -back bronzes and will rise up the standings 
but Candy Corn is still well out in front, then it's a close battle for second place between Java, Goop, and Seabed. Ecto drops to 5th, Tarzan goes up to 6th, and Shamrock goes up to 7th. The next event will be Archery, and then after that, an off-season friendly of a quadrilla race for the Team Quadrilla Marble League. Mm -hmm.